five signs that you're going to get into your first choice university. Number one, you have spoken to your referee. Now, universities look at the reference before your personal statement. And whilst many students obsess over perfecting their personal statement, think carefully. What's more important, you saying that you're a strong candidate or somebody else telling the university that you're a strong candidate for this course? The reference actually carries more weight. So make sure you've identified who your referee is going to be, that they know who you are, and that they know what makes you a fantastic candidate. This is particularly important if you have any weaknesses, maybe something bad happened and you missed an exam or extenuating circumstances. It's easier for the referee to talk about these than for you to have to dedicate a lot of your personal statement to talking about potentially some negatives. Now, tip number two, pretty obvious, go over the minimum grade requirements. If your course requires A star AA, for each additional A star that you are predicted, your chances will multiply. And there's a bit of a cheeky hack here. Now, universities make your offer based on a prediction, but they very rarely change the actual offer that you are required from your grades. This means that if you're predicted three A stars, you are more likely to get in, but will still be given a single A star AA offer. So if you can talk to your school, talk to your teachers and get them to predict you a higher grade, you are more likely to receive an offer, but it is unlikely that that offer will actually have a higher requirement. Therefore, it gives you an advantage over other candidates. Of course, it's very important also to check the subjects. If your course requires maths, further maths, chemistry, or a written subject, make sure that you have looked at the course requirements uh, before you pick your A-level subjects, ideally, or IB highers. Now, tip number three is to make yourself an expert on a relevant topic. For economics, I highly recommend econometrics because it's the stacks behind the economics of a very quantitative course at a top university such as Oxford, Cambridge or LSE that often lets candidates down at university. Showing that you love stats, you love the maths behind economics makes you a more suitable candidate and increases the chances of getting in. Talk to your teachers, talk to your referee, look at research, look at our videos and identify what is a topic that you can read on above the school curriculum and talk about for a paragraph of your personal statement to show you really are well suited. Remember, 70% of your statements should be talking about academic topics, so you cannot do too much reading ahead of your personal statement. Tip number four, go to an open day of your top university. They will tell you what they are looking for and there are clues that you can put in your personal statement or talk to your referee about to make sure that they're included. For example, at London School of Economics, they're looking for that long track record of mathematical success, which means you can talk about the long track record of mathematical success explicitly in your statement and ask your referee to do the same. It makes it easier for them to give you an offer because you've ticked the box that they've been asked to check that you have. Now, for non-Russell Group universities, they might even make you offers under the counter. That means outside of UCAS. Universities are told not to do this, but they do it a lot. So sometimes talking to head of department can give you a direct offer on the day if you're convincing enough. And finally, tip number five is to use the five pillar framework. If you want to see what a perfect personal statement looks like, you can download it using the link in the description below. I've written this using the framework that I developed over the last 10 years of helping hundreds of students to get in with a 92% success rate. I've done the hard work, so you don't have to. Fill in those gaps and build your statement around the things that I have identified from my experience is what the admissions professionals are looking for. Now, good luck in your application. Those are my top five tips, but there are many others. And if you'd like to work with someone like myself or one of my amazing team of ex-admissions professionals to eight times your chances of getting into a top UK university, please contact us using the information on screen now and in the description below. Lastly, please like and subscribe 
and please comment what is it that you're looking for and how can we help you? I get back to as many comments as I possibly can because I really want to help as many students as possible to get those amazing offers. Good luck in your applications.